Hello, ladies. We're so glad you're here with us today that you decided to click on us. My name is Judy Episcopo from Appleton Alliance Church. And I'm Jamie Borum, also from Appleton Alliance Church. And we're here every Tuesday because we want to bring you some encouragement and connection and just touch base a little bit about the sermon. Yeah. And um, if you didn't get a chance to see the sermon, uh, you can still watch it. If you go to YouTube um, and type in Appleton Alliance Church, you will see it there. Or you can go to our website and there's a hyperlink there as well. Um, so we, this past uh, Sunday, Pastor Mark Harris, he finished up a sermon series on the five gauges. And this past week, he touched on the relational emotional gauge and uh, this was fantastic it, it touched really close to home and one of the things that he talked about was um, an, a couple errors that we make when it comes to relationships and that first error is that um, we think relationships are optional and and they're not no in fact I remember very clearly many years ago my husband went to a seminar on pastor burnout and uh, how to avoid moral failure. Um, and the big takeaway was having good close friends. Pastor Harris mentioned garden friends, the friends that stuck close to you through hard times. And Dennis came home all excited to focus on his garden friends and to make those strong. And he asked me, who are my garden friends? And you know, I think we had just moved to Appleton three years ago and I was a mom with small kids and I worked and I looked at him and said I'm too busy for friends I don't have time for friends he pressed me on it and we almost got into a little argument about it because I'm just too busy to have friends but finally he said to me Judy if you had the time that you needed who would be the friends you'd want to have in your life and that was a question I could handle and I started to think about it and pray about it. And it led me on a journey to pursue some garden friends in my life. That's great. You know, and um, when we hear these sermons, we really think about how can we relate to uh, what's going on today? So not only can we be pursuing um, our garden friends, but we also can be maintaining those relationships that we currently have. And I wanted to share a story with you. So earlier this week, I was uh, ding dong ditched. And for those of you who don't know what that is, uh, my doorbell rang and I ran to the door and no one was there. But sitting at my doorstep was a piping hot casserole dish with um, fresh out of the oven peach cobbler and just a little note of encouragement from a friend. And what a great way, you know, just during this time when we need to be stay safe, that we can still follow Foster those friendships and build those relationships. I would like to recommend this book by Lisa Jo Baker. Oh, is it upside down? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never unfriended. It's still a good book, whether it's upside down or not. By Lisa Jo Baker. She was our Encounter Weekend Away speaker. And this is an excellent book that talks about the ups and downs of friendship, how to be a good friend, how to find friends. So this would be something really important to read, I think, during this time, if you want to focus on developing garden friendships. Oh, perfect. So as I mentioned earlier, Pastor Mark Harris, um, he had two, um, there were uh, uh, two things that we commonly um, do wrong when it comes to relationships. So that first one was thinking that relationships are um, optional. We know they're not. But the second one is, is a lot of times we put those relationships that we have as an ultimate. So we put those relationships up here and Christ down here, and we need to flip-flop those. And so I was thinking about, well, what's a practical way to be able to do this now? And I don't know about you all, but I have a little bit more time on my hands. Um, I'm not running around to carpools and sporting events and so, you know, why not spend that time with our Heavenly Father? You know, um, Joyce Meyer had a quote a long time ago that said, um, prayer can be just like talking to your best friend. It should be one of the easiest things you do in a day. So why not spend more time doing it and building that relationship with Christ? So I encourage you all that as you have this whole gamut of emotions going on, whether, you know, you're worried or you feel alone or unheard, that talk to God about it and, and build that relationship with him and, and really focus on making that the ultimate relationship in your life. That's a great way to end. I think we'll end in prayer as I pray for you ladies, and then we hope to see you again next Tuesday. So, 
Dear Lord, we do pray for these women that have clicked on and are perhaps looking for relationship. And I pray for them, first of all, for a relationship with you, that during this time that they would be able to lean in and discover you as your um as their best friend, that you would remind them that you are near, that you would speak to them through your word. Um, so we pray for that first and foremost. And then we pray for good friendships, Lord. It's especially hard now, but I ask for um, creative ways for people to connect. I pray for that person right now who is extra lonely, that you would bring someone into their lives, even now miraculously, that you would bring friends into their lives. Lord, we need you and we need each other. So we pray for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, ladies.